Hello guys, Brad here again with another a review. Today I want to talk about uh, wallets. Um, I recently decided to buy a couple of new wallets. Uh, this is my old wallet. You can see it's uh, seen better days. It's made by a company called Amity, which I believe is out of business right now. Um, it's all stretched out and worn out. Not very attractive looking. Um, and I've been using this wallet for, it seems like, forever. Um, but I really like it because uh, it carries a lot of stuff. Probably because it's so stretched out. And also, it has this coin pocket um, there. Coin pocket there that you can put coins in. And I really like that feature in my wallets. Um, hard to find these days. But uh, I was doing a lot of research on uh, wallets lately. And uh, just like fragrances. Uh, it's very easy to become obsessed with finding the perfect thing so uh, I actually ended up buying two wallets and I'm gonna talk about each wallet separately in two different videos so let's talk about the first wallet that I bought and this will probably be my go-to wallet for most occasions and it's made by a company called Axis the Axis front pocket ID wallet um, it's very um, basic and minimalistic and I decided that I really don't need to be carrying a bunch of stuff in my wallets for the most part. Um, in my old wallet, I would carry pretty much everything that I thought I needed to carry. And I come to the realization that it's really not necessary for most occasions to carry all this stuff. Um, so this wallet, it uh, has a window pocket for your driver's license. It's got a few pockets there for, I'd say, two nice pockets for... Uh, credit cards and ID or whatever you want to put in there and then just a small pouch there you can fold in some bills as well maybe three or four bills would fit in there and it says you can put coins in here as well but I probably won't use it for coins um, you can get these wallets on Amazon or you can go to the Axis website and purchase from there about $50 uh, and if you get to the Axis website, I believe you can choose from five different colors as well. So if you don't like the brown, you can choose different colors to see what they have. And uh, this wallet uh, does have the RFID blocking pocket in there, which uh, I guess is a popular feature right now for people that are afraid of ID theft. Um, the leather is full grain vegetable tanned leather from Tuscany, Italy. And uh, it's handmade handcrafted so I, I think a lot of people would look at this wallet and would probably assume that it's probably not worth fifty dollars uh, because it's so tiny and basic but uh, you know if it does the job and I use it every day it will certainly get its money's worth of use and I think you know I've been using this now for a couple days and I think it's perfect for my needs uh, just my uh, uh, driver's license a couple cards couple bills and I'm good to go and it fits in my front pocket very comfortably certainly more so than this thing did um, but I'm not carrying a whole lot of stuff either but uh, yeah this would be great for traveling I get to the amusement park or the beach or wherever um, I don't want to be carrying a bulky wallet and uh, risk getting my stuff stolen I mean if this did get lost or stolen it would be a pain to uh, replace everything but it wouldn't uh, be nearly as bad as if I lost everything I owned so I think I'm going to go with this minimalistic front pocket wallet from Axis. Um, check it out and see what you think. Uh, let me know down below in the comments which uh, kind of wallet you're using right now. It would be interesting to know. And in a next video, I think I'll talk about the other wallet that I just bought. A little more bulky and, uh, you know large so this one yeah for basic use is perfect so thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys later